Hello and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. So last time we saw this dragon come ahead over our heads and we have to decide whether we're going to fight it or not. Um, my answer for that is no way. We're going to run away. So, a quick thing before we... Uh... Actually, I can just fast travel. Uh, we're going to go back to Skyhold and then work our way forward. Uh, to wherever we're going next. Where's... There it is, right. Anyway, quick thing, I have a bit of a cold, so if you see any odd edits where we're standing in the exact same place when we come back, I'll probably edit it out something. Hopefully I don't need to do that, but there you go. Anyway, so we saw the dragon. Uh, the reason I'm not fighting it right now is because apparently the dragon fights are quite tough. And we haven't done any yet, so fighting one that's actually our level seems... Well, it doesn't seem like the brightest thing we could do. Because we are currently level 11, and from what I've heard, the dragon in Hinterlands, like the first one you meet, is level 12? Is that or 8 or something? Inquisitor? And, or, and the person who would, I heard it from did it at 12. I don't know. Anyway. So, that doesn't seem like the best place to go. Where we're going to go now is... Where the Dalish were talking to us about where a lot of their people had gone. And who else talked about it? I don't know. We got a message from an anonymous source wanting us to get rid of Dalish. So I think it's a good point to go and have a look. See what's going on. Let's see if we can find the right place. We also need to do the war table. Oh, we leveled up the Inquisition. Uh, is this the last knowledge perk we're getting this time? So we have underworld knowledge. We have... Oh, we don't have arcane knowledge. That's the one I want. Perfect. Now we have all the conversation options. I just like having them. If they make sense. The Serpent of Navarra. The agent known as Argent infiltrated the Navarian royal palace and killed Virilius, eliminating several others who she reported were clearly co-conspirators. King Marcus is reported to have wakened as if from a dream. The Inquisition is not connected to any of this, and the king is enraged to have been magically influenced in such a manner. He will definitely be more wary of veterinary emissaries in the future. Argent has brought back several interesting items that were in Virilius's possession. Okay, so we got a Magister Ice Staff. That's very good. Alliances Observing the Deadlock. Despite their intent to craft a political entity to oppose us, these noble families are too embroiled in their own conflicts to even acknowledge us. We've acquired some additional training partners who are tired of waiting for the winner to emerge. We got some gold. That's good. Let's see who's over here in Ferelden. Ports of Maleficarium. A field report from the Wending Wood delivered to Commander Cullen. We found several murdered mages just off the road. If the victims were blood mages, there were no obvious signs. No cuts on palms or the like. But it's difficult to say. The victims appear to have been stabbed. It's possible Maleficarium are responsible using their fellows to power some ritual. It's also possible these were former circle mages killed by ordinary men over hearsay. We will continue sweeps in the Wending Wood to ensure safe passage for future travellers. Night Captain Bryony. False accusations. What's this? And corrupting runes. So runes are for weapons. I want to know what the ac accusations are. Oh, it's another mission. Okay. We'll send Cullen off to do that. Cullen, your concerns regard... Oh, he... we can't send Cullen. Okay. Cullen, your concerns regarding the lack of conclusive evidence found in the Wending Wood incident were well placed. Rumors of blood mage... Oh, blood magic drew out our Templars, as intended, it seems. Some mages say our men were responsible for the murders. More Templar zealots persecuting the innocent. What's worse, another murder was reported shortly after our people left. Lady Dialia claims that the victim was her daughter, not a mage at all, although it's rumoured she sympathised with their plight. Witnesses say a Templar sigil was found nearby. 
After the events in Kirkwall and the fighting in the hinterlands, people fear extremists on both sides. If word spreads that we've lost control of the Templars, as the chant treated before us, we may lose support from the noble nobility in Amaranthin. Or worse, Denerim. Liliana. Well, if she's the one sending the report, I think she's probably the one to do it. Hmm. Yeah, I prefer Liliana. Okay, shadows over Denerim. Inquisitor, I feel like we should meet, seeing as you were camped in the western part of my country until someone wiped Haven off the map. My map. That was annoying. First, I have one army in Ferelden without a, a buyer leave, and then there are two, but I digress. My point is that I'm King Alistair, ruler of Ferelden, and I've learned who was behind that second army. His cult of Deventer followers is supposedly in the royal palace, somewhere, cackling no doubt. Seeing as your Inquisition knows far more about them, I'm hopeful you could find these cultists and ask them to leave, with pointy swords. I don't even know, want to know what they're up to. One archdemon per age is really all frill and can stomach, thank you very much. King Alistair Thurin. So, hmm. Oh, Josephine's not doing it? Well, that pretty much means it's Cullen. All right. So we'll go and help Alistair out. Conscript for the Inquisition? Well, that settles it. We face a darkspawn magister who commands something that looks suspiciously like an archdemon. I defy anyone to tell me this is no blight. We have Black Ball's treaties and we have the cause. The Thetis will require a little pers persuasion. Um. Okay. wonder what this one is. It must be a follow-up to another one. But I can't remember what it was. At your service. Well, we'll send Josephine off to do that one. So, these people went somewhere. I'm trying to find the right one. Emerald Graves? I think that's it. Fairbanks, Trade, Freeman of the... Right, Freeman of the Dale. Yeah, I think this is the right place. So, we'll uh, have a look at what's in there. Lead Scout Harding made contact with Furbanks and his men in the Emerald Graves, and they had a run-in with the Rebel Freeman of the Dales. They were as violent as we've been led to believe. As for Furbanks, Harding was unable to coax much from him. He will only share what he knows with the Herald of Andraste, it seems. Furbanks is holding his information close to his chest. I wonder if it might relate to something bigger than just the Freeman of the Dales. If there is a chance at all, then we must learn all we can from him. Harding has set up an outpost in the Emerald Graves. Be careful, Inquisitor. The forest of the graves is treacherous and the home to enemies both new and ancient. Okay. So, who are we bringing along this time? Um, well, if I think they were Dalish, I should bring along Solus. Um, oh, I might bring along Iron Bull. We haven't seen him in a while. And mage. Oh, we've already got mage. Rogue. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, bring along Sarah. We haven't seen her in a while either. There's no one in particular apart from Solus who I'd really feel needs to come along. And I'm not 100% sure he does either. Okay, are we loading in? There we are. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Hope you've got your comfortable boots on. The scouts have seen a number of fade rifts all over the forest. We've located this mysterious Fairbanks. He won't share his information with anyone but you. He and his men are camped out at Watcher's Reach on the path ahead. From what we can tell, they're refugees from the war. Peasants, mostly. Um, okay. Tell me about him. Tell me everything you know about Fairbanks. We don't know much about him. He appeared after the Civil War started, helping people fleeing from the destruction. Fairbanks is likely not his real name. Oh, really? You know anything about the area? Do you know anything else about the region? 
They call this place the Emerald Graves. Legend says that a tree grows here for every elven knight of Halam Sharal who perished in its defense. Makes you sad, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, that's pretty sad. What was done to the elves here was unforgivable. Never again. At least I hope not. Well, I'll be going then. Thank you for the information. I'll head out. Oh, uh, one other thing. You've tangled with the Freeman of the Dales before. They have a presence here. Watch your back, Inquisitor. Okay. So we got some level ups to do. Let's do them quickly. Iron Bull has two points to spend. Let's put them in his speciality. Crit your critical strikes have a chance to cause a gory mess and send nearby enemies fleeing in panic. Mm -hmm. Rampage. Attacks are harder and faster and you gain health with each strike. This is useful, might keep him alive without me having to do it. When an enemy dies near you, the thrill of the of death spurs you to hit that much harder. It's only for five seconds. This doesn't seem fantastic. What's this top level one? Um Oh, he take, he does damage as okay. So this one means that he does damage as he hits, and this one means that he heals as he hits, so that kind of makes sense. Did I? Yeah, I did put point into that. I just need to apply it. Battle Master? Combat rule? Uh, no. Let's not give him a combat rule. I'm not 100% sure he'd do it right. I do like the slow, possibly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll give him the slow because. We'll use it if I taunt, he can then hit them from behind and slow. And then we can run around her if we like. The other one is Sarah. Alright, uh, where are we going with her? Is this it? Tempest? Yeah. Okay. Thousand cuts. You choose a target and dash to and throw a shadow leaving blood with every leap. After you slice through other nearby foes, you land behind your target, striking deep. Uh, okay, um... 38 hits, 300% weapon damage. That is really good. She doesn't use daggers, though, with us. Maybe I should get, get her a dagger. We'll take it in case it works without that, possibly. And in here... When the hearts aren't in the fight, it's almost too easy. Your attacks on panicked or sleeping enemies are automatically critical hits. We don't have anything that does that quite yet. Unless we have Vivian. Evasion. They can't hit what they can't see. Your deceptive fighting style gives you a chance to dodge enemy attacks, taking no damage. That seems good. So, we'll see how she does these abilities. Um, right. Let's have a little look around. Right, so there is a landmark somewhere around here. Behind me. There we go. Got that, unlock the codex, and we will leave that one. Oh, somebody's got a thing for us. This is the requisitions officer. Hello? Report. Okay, so we need Nug Skin, and then we got that one. Okay, uh, that's just saying that's camp. So, what's this one? Watchers reach refugees. So that's the one we're looking to do. Okay, we'll head out to do that one. Looks like this is a smaller area, which is all right. I like I like the smaller areas better. Is that a Freeman of the Dales up there? Okay, we'll get him. Okay, we'll get him. A little bit closer. Ah, they don't like Fairbanks. Ah, that gives us enough reason to uh, not like them. Right, get behind them. On, get on the archer. 
Uh, let's try the guard ability. Oh, it worked this time. That's good. It got him down. Take a potion. Hit them down. I wonder what this aura is. I've forgotten entirely what this ability might be. Back to counter his move. And then we can kill him. Ah. Oh, that might be in one of uh, Sarah's potions. That might be it. Is that a nug? Oh, it's a nug. We need to get it. Uh, we need the nug skin. Perfect. Oh, we didn't have any nug skin on it. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's carry on. Hopefully, we meet Fairbanks before we get any more information. Oh, there. Where the place? Fairbanks is expecting you as a camp. Watch okay. Yourself. I'd like to trust you, but we don't trust anyone. Um, right, we'll just continue down here then. This seems like the perfect place for an ambush. Hmm. Not entirely sure that I trust Fairbanks. And they're saying they don't trust me, but it's very, very mutual feeling. Is there a noise coming from that? Yeah, there's a symbol. Do you need, do I need to be, all right, let's go for Solus. Uh, I haven't seen one of these. Nope. I have no idea how to activate that symbol. If it can even be activated, it might just be uh, scenery. Hmm. We'll come back to it if we. We'll try and keep a note of that. Yes, thank you. Okay. Well, before we talk to him, let's find this uh, landmark. Oh, landmarks up there. Let's not find it. Hello, Fairbanks. It is an honor to meet the Herald of Andraste. Um, you have information for me? My agent said you had information for the Inquisition. Straight to the point. Very well. You have encountered the Freemen. Aggressive bastards, no? They've killed a dozen of my people. We've tried to fight, but we cannot match their strength. You can. Why should you care about this, you ask? Because the free men are colluding with your enemy. Uh-huh, we know that. I'll see what I can do. I'll look into this, Fairbanks. All my information about the free men is right here in our camp. Help us. And everything I know about the Dales, about these woods, I will share with the Inquisition. Okay, sounds useful. Yeah, we already know they're working with, um... Who is it? Uh, working with Corypheus because they uh, well they rose the undead. Well, no, they rose the dead, making them undead. Anyway, yeah, doesn't matter. I want to find a way up top. How do we get up there? Long. Ah, the ladder. Yeah, I want to get the uh, landmark up here, so that because it reveals the nearby area. Some rash find. Good. Just grabbing it every time we see it. Right, have to be very careful because we could easily die here. Okay. There's our landmark spot. Hmm. Right. Now we just need to get down again. So around here. And along. And we can get down. Uh, not going to jump this one. Okay, let's see what these documents he has say.
Right, where are these documents? Oh, they're over there. There's another landmark, though. We'll get that. That'll uh, be useful. Okay, they don't want to talk right now, he said. Nice waterfall. Got a mission over here. I can't believe he's making us hide out here like mice. He's making you hide out here? That's kind of odd. Ah, a letter. Map of Watcher's Pass. Okay, so there's treasure next to a picture of a moose. Damn him and his concern. Oh well. A torn page. Needed more elf fruit, so I went with him to the grove by that strange rock on the road that looks like a grumpy old woman smoking a pipe. Freemen were there. They didn't see us at first, but Greer stepped on a twig. I didn't think that happened in real life, only in stories. That damn twig. I barely got away. I didn't like having to tell Fairbanks we lost the herbalist. Shit, they're going to kill us one by one. Ooh. Okay. A difficult announcement. I'm sorry to tell you the lives we have lost. Sorry to tell you of the lives we have lost. Gertrude, Chauvin, Devon, and Jax were all taken by Sister Costu's men while hunting. They are dead. I pray the Maker have mercy on their souls. The freemen are preparing for something, stocking up on supplies and men. Patrols range further each day. Be careful where you go. When you forage, keep close by. To prevent more deaths, we must look out for each other. The soldiers among us have volunteered to guard and patrol Watcher's Reach. So the rest of you are. Uh, so the rest of you stay safe. With a heavy heart, your friend and protector, Fairbanks. Okay. So Fairbanks, uh... Yeah, there was a lot of killing that's got him to do this. So we'll see what's up. Um, okay. So we've examined it, I guess. What what did we learn from this? Nothing. Okay. Let's see if there's any more notes around. They're interesting. Hmm. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh. Okay. This codex entry. Yeah. Uh. No more actual. Unless there's one in here. Oh, okay. Well, that settles it. We're fine. Energize. Oh, we need to be a need to have a mage. Not. Why are they all stuck out there? Okay. That's a bit odd. Yeah, let's energize this. Um, okay. Wish I had any idea what we're using this for. Um, absolutely nothing? Okay. Well, we'll let him carry this far. He'll drop it if we get into a fight anyway, so... Let's go and have a look at the Viridian Mine, which I assume that poster must have told us about or something. Okay. Don't look for trouble. Don't look for... Oi, we're here to help you. What's along here? Ooh, Red Lyrium. We could get that on the way past. Seems like a good place to head off to. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Well, it's not too far off our path, so we will definitely head over. Although, Varric might want to be here for each one. I'm not too bothered. Let's just get rid of it. He probably isn't bothered as long as they're gone either. What is this? Chapel with red light inside? Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Well, let's destroy the red lyrium deposit first. 
Varric slightly approves. Okay. Um, Sarah. Let's see what you can do about this lock. Perfect. Hmm. Okay. Creepy place. With loot. And something to read. Dohaim's notes. The shipments are prepared and once again the rats from the Watcher's Reach are getting in my way. One woman got far enough into my camp to look in the crates, scrounging for food, no doubt. Sneaky li little peasants. Perhaps traps next time. Okay. Uh, right, we did level up, but we can get Sarah to open this door as well. Hopefully it gives her XP per door. There you go. And we will level up. Uh... Can we level up these levels? Uh, I was wondering whether these had like tier level. Why is it got an X at the top? Interesting. Um, I was seeing whether we had any. Are these had tiers? No. Okay. Because I saw that on one of the other abilities and realized that we might be missing out, but I guess we're not. Uh, damage bonus against taunted enemies. We taunt a lot of enemies. That'd be good. Bodyguard? Uh, no. I don't want to go that far. Uh, weapon and shield. Don't use weapon and shield. What else have we got? Two-handed weapons. Make her crushing blow uh, cost less stamina. Might be useful. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Cost less stamina. It's the boring option, but it's probably one of the better options. An enemy? Okay. Let's get him. Should be nice and easy. Oh. Yum. Yeah, he didn't stand a chance. So, have we got more red... What's this? Villa Mariel. Then we got a camp at the back. Let's have a quick look around. We can enter. Hmm, some more enemies. Let's get rid of them. Yeah, right, so if we just keep them on the ground, that's all we need to do. Oh, they're only archers. Well, it was easy enough. A bit of loot. Hmm, and the villa. Well, we will head in here next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then.